ISIS, the Iraqi Sunni extremist group, has been advancing with lightning speed over the past week. With me to discuss ISIS and the latest developments is Sam Jones, the FT security and defense editor. Sam, what can you tell us about ISIS? Well, we published a story this morning uh, in which we outlined the way in which the organization uh, pulls together this annual report of its activities. Uh, this is for 2013. What do uh, you mean by an annual report? Well, it's very much like a corporate annual report, uh, and really that tells you something about the nature of ISIS as an organization. And here you can see a range of activities. In 2013, they, they conducted nearly 10,000 operations, uh, and they range from uh, the planting of uh, roadside bombs uh, through to assassinations and conversion of apostates. So what does that tell us about the type of organization that this is? Uh, well, it, it sort of gives some indication that ISIS is not just a, a ragtag uh, bunch of, of militants who, who are sort of crazed by, uh, by bloodlust um, and sectarianism. I instead, really, it indicates that this is an organization with a great degree of strategic thinking uh, and with a very centralized command structure. That is obviously very worrying. What is, if, if we look a little bit at what's going on on, uh, on the ground right now, there's a very big battle for the oil refinery in Baiji. Are they going to be able to, to capture that? Well, uh, we don't know at the moment. Um, there are reports this morning that, that around three quarters of the refinery complex is controlled by militants and the remainder is, is still in the hands of, of government troops. Um, there's some suggestion that the only reason the militants haven't completely overrun it is because they're worried that the troops will blow up the refinery, uh, which would be bad for ISIS. This is an asset that they want to capture. This is not something that they, they simply want to destroy. How important is this refinery? Well, critical for Iraq. Uh, it supplies Baghdad with energy um, and much of northern Iraq too. So this sort of professional organization is very clearly able to capture territory but will it be able to hold territory? Well that's really the big question uh, and it goes back to, to ISIS's predecessor organization as well which obviously had huge successes with the insurgency um, many years ago and that was countered uh, in two ways. I mean they, they kind of burned themselves out uh, through their own brutality and the Americans uh, and allies were able to undermine them by appealing to the Sunni tribes um, and, and, uh, and, and sort of This is because of the way that they actually act once they take a town or uh, Precisely. a city. Precisely. I mean, I ISIS is an organization which is trying to establish its own state, and that state is run along an ultra, ultra orthodox uh, reading of the Quran, very um, uh, literalist, um, and they, they punish uh, crimes brutally. We've seen crucifixions, beheadings, floggings, uh, limb amputations. Uh, it's a really unpleasant group. Thank you very much, Sam.